Welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial construction system tutorial series and in this video we are going to begin working with the walls. So before we start I want to mention a few things about this um, wall system. Um, by default we have no issues to stack walls like this on top of a existing log in the same rotation but if we want to uh, make a side wall on this thing if we only would rotate the log what we would get is a wall that would be basically uh, in the middle of this log and these would stick out and I don't think the build will look that great so what we want to do is create a um, three exit uh, exit I don't know how to call this a three-way rotation basically the first one would be rotation that is like this and the next two uh, this will not work we want a rotation that is one of this would be standing like this and the other one would be standing like this um, so that they would align perfectly with one another so in order to achieve this result we should go well first I will delete these First what I want to do is go to the third person character and we need to change two variables from local to global. So and that would be let's find our construction system. So I had to go let my cat in. Well basically close the door after the cat because the car, ca cat is smart enough to open the door but he's not smart enough to close it. <laughs> um, anyways so what I want to do is create two new variables. I'm gonna call the first one move x and as you can see it says name is already in use that is because in our build floor preview we have these variables move y and move x variables so what I will do for now is simply type in 1 so move y1 and move x1 and then I can rename this newly created variable to move x which is a float and then I can create another one for move Y and I want to replace these so I will replace these by dragging this move Y on top of this and as you can see it says change node to write move Y there we go move Y and the same thing goes for the move X move X and move X and we need to change these as well to move X and move Y so let me make sure that we changed all of them yes this is all of them and what we can do now then is delete these local variables because we no longer need them there we go so this is all set up and now in our event graph let's create a three-way rotation so I will do mine on keyboard uh, button R, R. Uh, so keyboard R there we go and for this one we need another variable uh, which I'm gonna call rotate build which will be a boolean and then once we press the R key we can check if the build rotation is on or off there we go and then from this one if the build rotation is uh, if it's not on then we are going to turn it on let's change this to true and if this is on what we will do is do another if branch check because we want a three-way check not just the two-way check and here we are going to check if the move X is equal with equal float and if this is equal to minus 25 because we want to move our log uh, 25 in the x-axis I know that it will be in the x-axis because we are never rotating the uh, the floor it is always standing static in the same direction we will not allow the floor to be rotated because it is pretty useless to rotate uh, our build inside of this um, let's call it a build chamber chamber so yeah let's go back and so now if the uh, move x is equal to minus 25 
then we are going to set this to be 25 in the plus value. Then on the false, what we will do is change the rotate build to false. And also we are going to make this move X to zero so that this would go back to the default value. And one more thing we need to do here on rotate build false, we also need to set that our rotation is equal to minus, uh, move X is equal to minus 25. So basically this function right here will allow us for a three way uh, rotation in the X zero axis, X uh, 25 and X minus 25. And another thing that I want to create is the wall height so that we can change how high walls we want to create. Um, you can set this uh, uh, for a pre-made, you can set this as a pre-made value already. So you can set like, let's say the wall is like six uh, logs high always, but I want my players to have uh, a possibility to change the wall height. So what I will do is on mouse wheel, mouse wheel down and mouse wheel up. I will have two um, events. So what I want to do here is add a new variable, which I'm going to call wall height. And this needs to be a integer. So let's drag this in. And on the mouse up, I'm going to do plus vector uh, integer plus integer. And on the mouse down, I'm going to do integer minus integer. And in both cases, the value is going to be one. And then what I want to do is I want to clamp this to um, have a maximum and minimum values so that we wouldn't have uh, 100 uh, logs high wall and I will do my maximum at nine. So this will basically allow, if it's from zero till nine, it will allow 10 logs to stack up. And then we are going to set our height on both cases to be this new value. So there we go. So this is all set up. So now we have also a wall height available for us. Now let's go to our construction mode. And what I will do is, let's see, we can use a lot of functionalities from this one, but I will just simply create a new function. I'm going to call this uh, build wall preview. I will open up the build floor preview as well. And what we want to do is copy all of this top part. So I will just simply select all of this except for the function node, I'm going to copy this into my build wall preview. There we go. So what we want to do now is promote these to local variables, X and Y, and same goes for the local Y and the local X. Now over here, what I will do is I will move this out a bit. And after we are done with this, I'm going to do a if branch check. And we are going to check if our rotate build is true or false. Because depending on this, we will change the location. And here what I will do is do a, a step loop. In both cases, let's begin with true. There we go. And here we need our local Y variable. Just like with the floors, we need to do a division to know how many uh, logs fit in. Then we can connect the return value to the last index. Then from the loop body, we can do a if branch check to see if our uh, Y is positive. There we go. Then just like previously, we want to take the index value and we want to multiply this with a hundred, 100, and we want to do the same thing with a minus 100, minus 100. There we go. Then we want to set our move Y 
So let's connect the move Y over here and another move Y over here. So now the top one is from the positive one and the bottom one is from the negative one like so and then once we have done this we want to do another step loop and both of these come in here like so I'm gonna do a reroute then I want to connect my wall height to the last index and then from the loop body I want to add instance world space for our build instance like so and then I'm gonna split the world transform and now let's create the world transform and this is going to happen by uh, dragging from the index and multiplying our index by 50 since our wall uh, height is 50 Z axis 50 then I'm gonna drag in my build location 1 to know where we are starting to build from now we can make a vector for our location I'm gonna drag in my move X and move Y variables and I will do build X plus float plus fold build X plus move X and the same thing for the Y so build Y plus move Y and for the Z axis I want to do another plus float plus float but we are going to add this newly uh, received value from the index index times 50 and then we can connect these right here so x y z and once this whole thing is done we can proceed to the next step in this step loop so I'm gonna reroute this again and then once we have completed this loop we can proceed to the next step in the previous loop like so so there we go one of these have been has been created I'm gonna copy the whole thing down here and I'm gonna connect the false in this first in step loop from this uh, build rotate if branch check and what we what we want to do over here is change a couple of variables the first thing is local X needs to be uh, local Y needs to be the local X um, division value I did not set a division value here so this was a hundred and the same thing goes on the bottom one this needs to be a hundred then on the top one we need a move X instead of move Y and on the bottom we want to remove our move Y and we can simply connect our Y directly so now that we have done this now in the event graph let's connect our build vault preview to this switch connect this to the construction delay and let's test this out compile save play let's build a floor first let's select a wall let's click on this and if we scroll up you can see we are creating a wall now let's click on the side let's press R and we are not rotating it and that is because I forgot one single small 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 detail in our build wall preview in our top piece here we need to add our Z, uh, rotation Z to be 90 because we need to rotate this if if the build rotation is true then we want to rotate this to 90 degrees so now if we build a wall over here this is working perfectly and now if we press R you can see that we can rotate our walls only thing that I don't like is that by default if we build a floor now and we select a wall when we click here this is good but if we like let's say like rotate this and now we want to create this wall 
it is already rotating. So what I want to do is in our, let's see, UI, build menu. Here, if we are selecting the build ID one, well, if we are changing any of these, what I want to do is reset my rotation values. So I will drag from the third person character or let me just reroute this real quick. I want to set build rotation, uh, set rotate build to be false. And also I want to set my move X to be at zero by default. If you don't want to, you don't have to do this, but I think this is a little bit better in my case. So now every time we select a new buildable, the rotations will be reset. Otherwise we might have issues later on when we add, let's say like uh, stairs or windows or not with windows, it will be okay. But with, with stairs, it, it will be a very strange issue. Once we switch from stairs to walls, uh, the rotation will stay the same and it will not reset and we will have to press R many keys. And I think it's a little more convenient if the rotation, uh, once we select a new build, oh, Always is reset. So this was fairly quick and simple and actually from now on all the tutorials should be a little quicker and simpler because we have placed down the, the base uh, the base framework if you will and uh, this allows us to work way faster and add more things way quicker. If you have followed the series this far already then please make sure you subscribe this helps the channel a lot and uh, thank you guys for all the nice feedback that I received while I was gone. And uh, yeah, guys, see you in the next video. Keep learning, keep building and stay tuned.